So I got a problem here. This thing is not straight. Good day, and welcome to Harley's Diners and Rides. I'm Dave. Today's video is we're going to do some modifications to Lori's 2008 Deluxe. So as you can see here, it's a very nice clean bike. One of the things that we're going to do is, and I just thought about making this a video, is we're going to take, we bought some highway pegs for Lori. I've already mounted, I've already mounted one of them for her. I'm going to do the other one in a second. The other thing is for traveling, what we found is that Lori doesn't have enough space in her trunk and her two saddlebags. So what we're going to be doing is we're, go we're going to be installing a sissy bar, backrest, Quick, re quick mounts, quick release mounts, and we've got a Nielsen rig suitcase that we're going to be putting that we're going to be putting on the bike. And as as normal, my friend Max, there she is. Max, what do you think about today's video? We're working on Lori's bike. Any comments? Still. You know, the silent type, you know, it's hard to get her to say a word, you know. Lori's not like that. Lori will tell you what's on her mind. Right, Max? Okay, let's get started. All right, so let's see what we have in our boxes. So we got the pad, we got some mounting hardware. Now then, this is a fairly large X-Acto knife, right? More than adequate to open up the boxes. But if you wanna see, if you wanna see a guy that's got a knife, that opens up his mail. Check out Blue Bike and Doyle, and I'll put I'll put the uh, the link in the comments below. He has got I think it's called a Bowie knife. I'm not sure. Doyle, you can explain whether whether it is or not. But I'm amazed he hasn't lost a finger yet. Anyway, check him out. He's he's, he's very funny. So that chew in here is Max. Max has come alive because Max loves cardboard boxes. Don't you, Max? Oh, we'll have to take a look at this. What are you doing? Hey? Hmm. Checking out Harley Davidson parts. There we go. Here is the second. And these aren't cheap pieces to purchase. Uh -huh. Put that there. And the last box to open up is... And we've got the sissy bar. So there we go. Everything we need to... Now you ask, why are we doing all of this? Well, it's because of this. This is what we're going to be mounting onto Lori's bike. Yes, I know. It's not Harley Davidson, but as Lori says, it's pretty. All right. So let's see how we do this. There's... Easy on the box, just in case I have to return something. Let's start the assembly. And... Funny story. So my brother had 
think it was a 72, 72 Sportster that he rebuilt. And whenever we went on a ride, something would come loose. Someone would come loose and fall off his bike. So for Christmas one year, I bought him a tube of Loctite as a, as a joke. One of the stories was he was going down, he was going down the highway and he was going down the highway and all of a sudden he noticed the bolt with a nut that was holding the mirror on came loose and dropped down and bounced off his toe and was gone off you know gone and he looked up just in time to see his mirror spin Last piece is straight. So there we are. Lori's trunk is off. I really like this bike without the trunk on. Just has beautiful lines, I think. So got it all assembled. That's what it looks like. Problem is, there's manufacturer default, or defect, I should say. So with it bolted in, I got 10 inches there, and I got nine and a quarter. When I checked the other bed, the, uh, the trunk that was there, it's mounting brackets. It's supposed to be nine and three quarters, nine and three quarters in order for it to fit into the proper alignment. So I've got a problem here. This thing is not straight. So I'm gonna have to take this back and we'll have to finish the job another day. Somebody's a little, hey, come back with my hat. All right, so a couple of things that have happened since yesterday. Um, this morning went up to Strictly V Twin where I bought Lori's backrest and they were able to pull from their inventory and get me a new sissy bar uh, so that uh, it fits on Lori's bike. The old one was bent, right? And that's why we were up three quarters of an inch out from front to back, it wouldn't line up properly. And there it is, look. Okay. Max, what are you doing? So thanks for joining us today as we did some work on Lori's bike. Hope you found the, uh, the video interesting. If you did, please subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below and let us know what type of luggage you've been using on your bike and what you thought of the luggage. As always, ride safe, be safe, take care, and we'll see you soon. For Harley's Diners and Rides, hey, hey, come back. I gotta go. I'm Dave. Take care.